What's up my babes? So today we are gonna make this adorable twist stitch. Um, so this will be the first cable knit that I teach you guys on this channel. Um, and it's actually fairly easy. Well, it's pretty darn easy. So this is like beginner. And um, we're not going to make this little bonnet today. I don't know if I am happy with this or if I wanna change it and alter it before I um, finish up writing the pattern. So actually I've not finished this bonnet yet. Um, I'm just considering something other. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm considering doing something different, but I don't know, I do like it too. So anyway, I am gonna teach you this actual pattern and cable stitch. And the reason is because we are going to be making one of these coming up, whether it's this exact stitch, I don't know. Um, or if I alter it and change and add some stuff to it. But this will be easy for you to learn and easy for you to practice while you wait for that video to come out. So actually I might, I might just do this. Cause you know, when it's spread out like that, it's actually really, really cute. Anyway, um, so let's jump right into the tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm actually using the new knitting needles that I bought off of um, Amazon. And uh, what I found was that it was kind of picking a little bit at the ends. So I actually put some nail polish on the ends of a pair and I'm actually gonna do a whole entire full on review video of these needles later on. But if you wanna try them yourself, there's a link in the description and I'm gonna give a, the entire pack away too. So watch out for that video coming up. Sharing is caring. Uh, make sure to share my videos in Facebook groups or with friends or people that you think might um, wanna make some of these or this might actually be helpful to them. Uh, yeah, so basically use whatever yarn needle combination you want to, to just start practicing with this stitch. And um, yeah, and also the reason I want you to practice is because it's kind of difficult to figure out how you wanna hold everything because we're actually going to be using uh, three needles in this tutorial. So let's jump right in and get started. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is knit, I mean, uh, cast on in multiples of six plus two. Um, and we're not making a project today, so it's not as important, but um, it is important if you wanted to make a pro project with this um, stitch. So we are going to cast on 14, six and six is 12, plus two is 40, yeah. Um, and I'm using the stretchy cast on method. And um, I'm actually using these new Amazon knitting needles that I bought. I saw reviews where people said the needles were shedding and messing the yarn up. So we are going to see what we experience with this today as well. I might do a dedicated review to that, I don't know. But if you don't know how to cast on, I hope you would have seen the video come up in the corner there. Um, I lost count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. Now we are going to use either, uh -oh. if you have a cable needle, you can use that. Or if you have a yarn needle, you could use that. Or if you have um, a double pointed needle, like anything that you can actually stick to hold some stitches to the side, this is when you're gonna pull that out. Okay guys, so for our first row, we are actually going to do a pattern where we knit, knit, so we knit two, purl four, knit two, purl four, knit two.
Okay, now we are going to start our actual cable row. So this is when we will actually get our cable needle, knitting, I mean, yarn needle, other knitting needle, whatever it is we're going to use. And we are going to start with a purl row here. So I'm actually just going to hold this in my hands and not going to do anything right yet. I'm going to purl two. One, two, okay. Now, I want this yarn to stay up front. I want to take this needle and I'm going to insert it in the back here. And I'm going to get, or actually I'm just going to insert it and grab them to so put them in the back. And I'm going to take two off, okay. Just grab your two, okay. And you'll have to get into a groove for this. So it's not like it's easy for everybody as soon as they start. And as you can see, now that I'm trying to explain stuff, I'm losing my own groove. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna hold these on here and I am going to knit the next two stitches we got going on here. So we're going to knit, could have knit that better. Knit one, knit two. Okay, now we are going to take this needle and we are going to purl the first stitch, okay? Purl, and then knit the last one. Now you need to knit and purl whichever way it is you knit and purl. Just make sure that you knit and purl at the time that I told you to for this particular stitch. Now we're just gonna hold the stitch and we are gonna purl the next two, okay? One, two. Now we're going to do the same thing. Keep this up front, this yarn. Take your uh, needle, insert it. Okay. We're going to take these and hold them in the back. Okay. Then we're going to knit these next two stitches. One, two, so I'm about to get loud in here. My husband came home, but I really want to finish this up. So <laughs> I hate being in the middle of one of these things and have to stop. All right, now we're going to take this needle. We're going to purl the first one, remember? Okay. And then we are going to knit the second one. Okay. Right through here. All right, then we're going to drop this for a while. We won't have to use this again for a while. That's how nice that is. And we're going to purl the last two stitches. All right, guys. Now the next row is going to be a repeat of the first row. So we're going to knit, knit, purl four, knit two, purl four, knit two. So that's row three, and then on row four, we are going to do the opposite. So row four, you're going to purl, purl, knit four, purl, purl, knit four, purl, purl.
row five. We're going to do the opposite again, starting with the knit. So knit twice, purl four times, knit twice, purl four times, knit twice. We are basically starting our second, I guess you'd call it, um, we're basically starting our next grouping, I guess you could call it. I'm not quite sure. So like we started, when we started our stitch, we started with this. So our next row is going to be our What is the name of it? Our cable row. All right. This is the back of it. And this is how the front is coming together so far. You can already see the um, how it's uh, curving. So on this row, we are going to purl twice. We are going to grab our two stitches okay. we're going to if I can hold it <laughs> we're going to knit twice one two we're going to purl off of this needle Okay, and then we're going to knit off of this needle. I'm a little bit faster now since I already showed you guys before. Now we are going to purl two stitches. Maybe, what did I do here? Did I mess this up? One, two, one, two, three, four. No, okay. So now we are going to, here we go, purl the next two. One, two then we're going to grab our stitches to hold here perfect okay maybe i should hold the perfect till it's done <laughs> then we're going to knit these stitches that we have on our normal needle one two i'm sorry knit two stitches like our pattern. Then we're going to purl. And then we're going to knit. Okay, we're going to drop this for a good while. Maybe. <laughs> we're going to purl our last two stitches. So guys, our next two rows if we went back to the pattern which i'm actually going to put in the description for you guys so you can see how it is coming together here but our next two rows would be knit knit purl four knit knit purl four knit knit and then purl purl knit four purl two knit four purl two knit two purl four knit two purl four knit two and then we'd be back at our um other stitch again purl two knit four i'm sorry purl all right we do are we'd be doing our uh cable um row so let me just make it easier here the first row that you're going to do for your groupings is going to be the knit two purl four knit two purl four knit two the next row is going to be your cable row, which is purl two, do the little finagle, the knit two, the purl one, the knit one, then purl two, then the, the cable repeat or whatever. Row three is going to be knit two, purl four, knit two, purl four, knit two. Row four is gonna be purl two, knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two. Then you're back to the first row of your next grouping to make your little cable, which is knit two, purl four, knit two, purl four, knit two, and then your cable row. So anyway, guys, um, I'm super excited about this next 
project and I might actually change it a little bit from this but this will be really really good practice I might leave it the same but this will be really good practice for you guys um, for that project coming up so thanks so much for watching guys um, make sure and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications sharing is caring so make sure and share this video with um, people who may need it or in like uh, photography prop groups or you know just places you know people will need it so I will see you guys next time